Good evening, everyone. Tonight I thought I'd play for you a little bit of music, uh, just little excerpts or some pieces, to let you hear the difference between uh, a concert grand, nine-foot concert grand German Steinway, and a 41-inch Yamaha upright. There's quite a difference. But uh, this is the piano I was working on out in the garage, and I brought it in, and uh, just having it side by side with the concert grand, I thought it, you might find it interesting to hear the differences. I'll just try and move the mic back and forth from one piano to the other and keep the other one in, in between them. See if you can hear the difference anyway. So I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Try that on the concert grand now. I'll move this mic over and I'll go behind the camera so that it doesn't go all bright on me. I'm going to try. Oops, too loud. try how great thou art. Maybe I'll do autumn leaves first. Concert Grand. 
move this over this way. Try that again. consolation.
I forgot to move the mic. <laughs> I'll show you the difference if I move that mic or I don't. I forgot to move that mic over this piano this time. Hay fever. Carol, maybe. And then I'll try a little bit of clear de Lune, just so that you can hear that one. Concert grand now. Just to give you an idea. Let's see now. No, I didn't bring the music over for that. The
I just wanted you to hear the difference. So say you have a child that wants a better piano and they just have an upright, you can hear the difference between the grand and the upright. Now, this is not fair comparison because this is such a short upright. Some of the good old Heinzmann uprights had a really <laughs> wonderful tone, and even the Mason and Risch put right on their hammer rest rail, great is the privilege of achievement. And they tried to achieve the tone of a concert grand, just that the sounding board is vertical and the action is doesn't use gravity, it uses springs and bridle straps. But um, the advantage of an upright like this, if you have children and you don't want to make much sound, is you can put that middle pedal down, and when you do, it puts a piece of felt down in front of the hammers, and then you're playing. You see, you don't, you can hardly hear. playing with strong fingers. It's like as though the key's really a thick spring. And I'm playing with a strong finger to get the key down. And, and I'm doing that, and that's the only sound I get out of the piano. And if I put the soft pedal down, it moves the hammers close to that felt, which is close to the wires, and you won't even hear any sound. Like and I'm balancing a lot of weight on those keys when I do get the strength of the finger bringing the key down. So, take the soft pedal off, take the middle pedal off, and, and take the front off, and take the bottom board off, and you get more sound, more sound, and it's pleasant, more pleasant to practice on. But, uh, I hope that gives you some ideas of the differences between the two, uh, an upright and a, and a grand piano. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night. Bye-bye.